Cody sprints out to Muse, a career night, and it's a touchdown. And yes, it is a touchdown and a career night indeed for Nick Muse, tight end. Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room. Now in the seventh round with a 226 selection overall, the Minnesota Vikings select Nick Muse, tight end out of South Carolina. Now this long, rangy, good receiving tight end might have his work cut out for him in certain areas, but let's look at the film and see what he brings to the table and what he will need to improve upon to make it at this level. All right, as a tight end being a receiver, the first thing you look at is, of course, the red zone. This is where, what, everybody gets packed in. You're gonna catch the ball in some tight quarters, some tight spaces. This kid can do that. We're gonna see this beautifully ex exemplified right here. You see him on the outside of a bunch formation. He kind of works his way in the middle of the field, finds his way in between two defenders, comes up with that ball, scores the touchdown. All right, another example of his ability to catch in the red zone, a red zone threat. That's what you want out of a tight end. He's gonna get some man-to-man. -man. This is just a simple pick route, but he executes it beautifully. Sets up his defender. You get the one receiver taken over two, works his way over the top, catches that football, turns it up, stays on his feet and scores a touchdown. A very good red zone target. All right, another red zone example. Look at this bunch formation, reducing the formation. Something that the Rams did last year. We're gonna see a lot of this. When you reduce the field, what do you have? You have got a lot of room here on the outside. Now, normally you want a speedy wide receiver to do this. In this case, beats the DB to the pylon. Again, another example of his red zone catching ability. Now, when you examine a tight ends game in the middle of the field, a lot of it has to do with what coverage do we have and how do I play these? In this case, this is four offensive players all going to one side of the field and what Muse does right here nicely is he settles right in between these four defenders, sets up, big body, catches the ball, and then watch this, breaks a tackle, does a nice job settling in zone, getting to that next level. All right, so let's expand his route tree a little bit. Now on the backside, trips formation, you're just gonna get the old seven route with the flat route by the running back. Great backside route, very standard. A lot of teams in the NFL do it but watch how he executes this route. And that's the beauty of what he does. He's gonna get himself up the field. Now you're gonna watch right at this case, the corner is playing him high. So he stabs and then flattens that route to the sideline to get himself open. So a great, great adjustment to the route by Nick Muse. All right, another example of, of Muse in the middle of the field. Again, a reduced formation. When you do this, you wanna do the crossing routes. You wanna get left and right to open up the middle of this football field and Muse does a great job on this play. You'll see him get himself up the field, but once he breaks inside, he sees and knows that this is the part of the field that's gonna get open, makes a great running catch and moves the chain. So a nice route in the middle of the field. All right, another example of his route running ability. This is something different now. Now the formation is stretched out. Why are you doing that? Because you wanna attack certain wide open areas and that's exactly what we're gonna see here. As Nick Muse gets up the field, he runs this little stab. You'll see that receiver is going up the field to pull this defender out and it opens this entire spot. So he does a beautiful pivot on that linebacker, works his way back out. Now watch the space that he creates right there. Three, four yards, catch, turn and run. The guy runs great routes, he can get himself open and he can run after the catch as well. All right, now with any tight end, what you love is the big body, right? The big tall receiver down the field. This is a great example of that. Again, reduced formation, but this time they're gonna stretch this defense vertically. You'll see Muse get himself down the field. And then again, he sees this triangle right here. He has his defender here, here and here. He's gonna settle right in that area where the quarterback can get that ball up so he can use his height to bring this football down, settles in beautifully, comes up with a big catch, takes the hit, moves the chains. It's a great example of him settling in zone again. Now, one of the forgotten parts of being a tight end and being a good red zone receiver is you've gotta be a great blocker to get defenders to respect you. That gets you open in the passing game. This is a great example of his ability to block in the red zone. You'll see him one-on-one -on -one down here with this linebacker. This linebacker is gonna collapse and he just gets that shoulder in there. That's a great job of getting that foot down, shoulder, blocking him out and taking him to the other side. That's a, one of the best examples of his blocking that we saw in the red zone. Now, in the life of a tight end, half the time you get to be the wide receiver, 
half the time you get to be one of these guys, just like an offensive lineman. So let's take a look at how he does on the double team against this defensive end. Gets that head in there, gets that shoulder, the pad level down low, moves that pile and collapses that defensive end. That gets him three or four more yards on this run. So a great job moving the pile. Now, overall with rookie tight ends, my word is patience. It's one of the most difficult positions because half the time you're a lineman, half the time you're a wide receiver. So you have to know the running game, the techniques, and the passing game and all those techniques. Now, Nick Muse possesses the ability to be a great down the field receiver. The length, the arms, reading coverages, catch, catch and run. It's in the running game that he's gonna need to really improve, to be able to block these big outside linebackers in these three, four defenses. Give him some time. I think he'll develop into a very, very good tight end.